I got into fashion from early childhood. I'm a hyperactive child. My mum thought that a way to keep me quiet was to just give me various tasks. And one of the many was just showing me how to use a sewing machine. And I still remember, she said, this is like Meccano, but you can get hurt. The two things combined, it's just, just burnt in my head. And I just thought, yeah. The English National Ballet asked me, would you be interested to do a whole production? I knew no idea what that meant. I was like, yeah, whatever. And so I started looking at all these performance outfits. They, they, look, they look like nothing. They look like a, a blue jersey thing with two red stripes. But then when you go and look into it, how they're made, gosh, they're so complex. It's just where the seam have to be, how it have to be stitched. So every thread, everything that you use has to be durable. In truth, it was like making a Batman's outfit. You, you have to make something that is so specific that it performs super well and it looks beautiful. I'm, I'm starting to think about next season collection. Usually you always have an idea in the back of your head. Um, it could be something that you've seen, it could be a book that you read, it could really be anything and that way you start designing garments that are they get take a shape bit by bit. At the same time, you do research of fabrics, and those that enthuse you could end up being paired with these designs, and or some enthuse you, and they will generate a design specifically for that particular fabric. Sometimes, you know, in a funny way, the way the season change and evolve, um, it kind of drives you to something else. And I love that about London. There is so much going on, always at the same time. It's a melting pot of ideas. As I said, I'm hyperactive. I want to do a million different things. And uh, I like the idea of, of being able to be much more productive on different fronts. I love to be able to work in furnitures. I love to be able to work doing more ballet, to be able to do theater, to do you know various aspects of what I personally like and I like to be involved in. And for me, designing is not a difficult thing. It's implementing the design, the, 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 the way that an idea has to be translated into a three-dimensional object. I suppose that if I had more resources in that respect, I could be doing all these things tomorrow. But now I think I have to take a step at a time.